In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem of your contact form 7 submissions not being sent to you, and now you'll finally be able to receive the emails that people are trying to get through to you when they fill out your contact form. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more WordPress tutorials for you. And I'm just curious, how many of you guys are using Contact Form 7 for something other than a contact form? For example, a multi-page application form, or an appointment scheduler, or a service booker? Just, uh, just curious, what are you guys using Contact Form 7 for? Leave it down in the comments below, I'd love to know. And with that out of the way, let's fix this email issue over in the screen capture. I'll see you there. So to get this done, what we have to do is install a plugin called EasyWP SMTP, which basically routes your email through one of your email accounts instead of going through the server on your hosting account. And that often solves a lot of these email issues that come with Contact Form 7. So we're in the dashboard right here. I'm gonna quickly install this plugin by going to plugins and then add new and then searching for easy WP SMTP. The first one that appears in the top left here is the one that I use. I'm gonna click on install now and then activate. Now the plugin is active, but we have a little red message, a warning message up here saying we have to set the credentials for this plugin, which we do. So we're just gonna click on this link to the settings menu right here. So these are the easy WP SMTP settings. What I encourage you to do is check out this link right here, which takes you to the documentation. I'm gonna open it right now. And the reason is there's a bunch of different email types you can include in here, and this explains how to do it. So if we scroll down a little bit, bunch of benefits, using it, configuration. Uh, so here's the information for Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail. Those are the big three. So hopefully you're using one of those. If you're not using one of those, you have to find the SMTP host, type of encryption, and SMTP port from whatever email service that you're using in order for this to work. And I'm gonna use Gmail for my example. So I'm just gonna copy what they have here and put that into the form starting in, in this field right here. And for the type of encryption, there's TLS, and then the SMTP port is 587. TLS for the encryption, 587 for the port. It's gonna fill in this top part here. The firm address will just be Bjorn at launch time. Nope, Bjorn at WP Learning Lab. Dot com. Firm name will be Bjorn. And in brackets, I'm gonna put WPPHD.com so I know which website this is coming from. If you have multiple sites, that's an important thing to do. We want it to authenticate. That's yes. And then the username is gonna be the username you use to log in to your email account. So I'm gonna type in my username. And then the password is the password used to log into that email account. So I'm gonna type that in for me. Hopefully I got that right. And then click on save changes. Shows settings is saved. Now we can do a little test message. So recipient's email is gonna be me. Subject's gonna be test message test. And click on send test email. So after doing that send, that test send, we have a failed to connect to the SMTP. And if we go into our email account, I got an email from Google saying they blocked a sign in attempt, which was that plugin trying to sign in because what it does is it sends the email from yourself to yourself, essentially. Instead of going through the hosting servers, it goes through your email account. And so Google thinks somebody else is trying to hack into your account or they know your password and they block the login. And what you can do is click on this link here to allow access to less secure apps. And it'll walk you through how to allow access to that plugin. If you're not using Google, you may not have this issue. So you might not have to do this at all. But if I turn this on right here, it's now updated. Now if we go back and test this again, it should work a little bit smoother. So we click on test and see what happens. Now we get the message the test email was sent, which is great. Let's see if we can find it in here. Here's the test message. So it shows it's coming from Bjorn at WPLearningLab.com. So I was able to sign in and everything worked out. I got the message. 
So if you're having problems with the contact form seven not sending your emails, this is something to try. But keep in mind, like Google just said, we're doing something that's less secure than optimal. So if you don't want to do the less secure method, there's another option, which is saving the contact form seven information to your WordPress database, which I have another video for. I'll link to it below in the description. So check that out if you want to save it to the database or try this if you want to do it this way. So that's how we fix the email issue in contact form seven. If this method doesn't work for you, it works nine times out of 10, but if it doesn't work for you, you're going to want to use something called the Flamingo plugin, which saves the contact form seven submissions right to your database. But all in all, I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more WordPress tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appear on the right hand side over here to learn more about WordPress and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.